Hey guys, we're going to talk to you today about the flu vaccine. Should you get it when you're pregnant or not? First thing you should know is that there have been there's a recent study that came out that showed that there might be a little bit higher risk of miscarriage in women who received one particular type of flu vaccine two years in a row. First of all, I want to make it really clear we definitely still recommend you get the flu shot. Now you should be aware of this information. You should take it into account when you're making your decision about whether or not you decide to get a flu shot. But at the end of the day, my advice is still get one. If you get the flu when you're pregnant, the risk of serious complications is higher. So there's a higher risk of hospitalization for pneumonia and other complications that can be life-threatening for the mom and the baby. So the flu shot clearly protects you from the flu and there's definitely evidence that it reduces the risk of these serious complications. So there's plenty of evidence that it protects the baby with maternal antibodies crossing the placenta, so it reduces the baby's risk of the flu after they've been delivered if mom got a flu vaccine while they were pregnant. So those are the reasons why I recommend that you still do it. The concern, of course, as well, is it gonna put the baby at any increased risk? And the short answer is probably not, um, if there is an increased risk of miscarriage, it's very slight. But the big thing to understand is this was a small study, and it's what we call retrospective studies. They looked back in time. They compared cases with controls, so moms who had miscarriages versus moms that did not. And there was a slight higher risk of miscarriage in moms who had back-to-back -back year, one year to the next, vaccines. And this was basically 2011, 2012 time frame very slight increased risk of miscarriage in that group. But there's a lot of limitations to that type of study. And I'm just gonna run over a couple of those with you here real quick. The biggest point of this is that a case control study does not prove one thing is associated with another. So in other words, in this case, that the vaccine was associated with miscarriage. It definitely does not prove that the vaccine caused the miscarriage. Association does not prove causation. And that's really important to hear because that has been shown over and over and over to be the case, that when a small study showed an association, bigger follow-up studies that were better designed did not show that there was any cause. Another thing to know about this most recent study is that it was a case control study of first trimester exposure. So it doesn't tell you anything about the risk in the second or third trimester. The other thing to tell you about this study is it was pretty small. So it only looked at 485 cases and 485 controls. Now, that may sound like a lot of people to you. 485 people is nothing. If it had 100,000 people or 10,000 people, now we're talking about a decent study. So, you know, I, to give you some context, you know, we talked about an observational study um, a couple of episodes back where we talked about whether or not you should delay pushing or not. That looked at 21,000 women. So, you know, that's a much more believable study than 485 cases. Another limitation of this study is it only looked at women who received a flu vaccine that had one specific type of vaccine ingredient, and that was the H1N1 pandemic. H1N1 pandemic virus as a portion of their vaccine. So only those women were looked at. So we don't know, is this something fluky to just the H1N1, or is it anything at all? And if you looked at all other flu vaccines, would you have seen a difference or not? Well, the answer is we don't know because that's not what was studied. Another limitation of this study is that there's no way to know for a fact if every single person who was pregnant when they got the vaccine knew they were pregnant or not. Lots of people get pregnant and don't know it for a month or two. And if they had a flu shot sometime eight, 10 weeks before that, were they already pregnant? Were they about to get pregnant? Do they know? Another thing to know is that there have been other studies of similar size that did not show an association with miscarriage. So there was another study in about 2006 that took about 240 women and who'd had miscarriage and matched them with controls and there was no association with the flu vaccine and miscarriage in that study. So there's definitely conflicting results on this. And another thing that, that always makes me wonder about the validity of a study is if there's sort of mixed results in the literature. So if, if basically every study you read tells you the same thing and they're all well designed, you can probably believe it. But when you start finding small studies that showed no increased risk, small studies that showed a little bit of increased risk, the truth is probably there's no increased risk. And if there's a study that we anticipate results late 18 or early 19, looking at this in more detail. So I definitely say stay tuned. I'm not saying there's absolutely no chance this could be a thing, but it looks like the risk, if there is any at all, is slight. And 
again, on the other side, the benefits are so clearly there that I would definitely still recommend you get your flu shot. If you feel uneasy about it, if you just want to wait to the end of the first trimester, I don't think that's wrong. So if you're talking about waiting a month or six weeks to get a flu shot, probably not the end of the world, unless you're right in the middle of flu season, in which case my advice would be just get it because the risk you're gonna get sick and the baby's gonna be affected is much higher, clearly much higher than whatever theoretical increased risk there might be of pregnancy loss. So I hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon.